All right, so it's been a minute since I've uh, showed you guys the update on my paddocks. It's really been a minute since I've done, done any sort of like farm vlogging. Um, the last year for sure has been weird. Uh, Whiskey had his injury and I've just been bringing Chica along in her training. Um, I've been busy uh, training horses here, um, always doing farm upgrades. Uh, it's just one of those things, you know, where time kind of gets away from you and um, there's not always a lot of projects that I necessarily feel like I need to or want to show like how I'm doing it or like a how-to kind of thing. Uh, but um, I did get asked on my Facebook about how my paddocks were holding up with the eco grid. So uh, this video is just going to give you um, my opinion, my personal experience and how I've used it and how I've mitigated certain problems with it, um, what's working for me and what isn't working. So um, again, this was just eco grid that I bought off of Amazon and installed myself and I've done um, four out of seven of my paddocks with it. Uh, recently, I just put in some more in whiskey, Whiskey's paddock, so I will show you um, kind of a side-by-side -side and a comparison uh, with the other paddocks, how they're doing after a few winters now, a few years, um, what I've done and what I would change. So this might look a little bit different than the one that you remember um, or that you may remember my original filming of. I will show you how that one's looking. This paddock and this paddock were put in two years ago, a little over two years ago now. And originally, Whiskey's paddock only came out um, halfway here. I only added this other section to the left um, maybe two or three weeks ago. So these two paddocks here um, were both 12 by 24, so that gives you an idea of how um, large these are and how big of a space I covered. Um, so the grid, let me get right into this. The grid, first of all, I installed, like I said, by myself. I did have a friend help me stretch it out, but that's just to say that I'm not a professional, um, you know, dirt person. Uh, I did use my tractor to try and help level it, but I didn't do a lot of sub base work. And um, that's something I'll say right off the bat that the more prep work that you do for the grid, the better off it's going to be um, in the long run. It's a little hard to see grade, but this paddock in particular has a hole um, right about here. And down in this low spot as well and in the winter in the heavy rains this area holds water um, and you might be able to tell that down at the far end right here it banks up and then it banks out towards the field as well so when i put this in i didn't really take into account water draining off of it i kept thinking that water was just going to drain through this through the grid for me and how it's worked here, that has not been the case. It really doesn't drain water through it. Um, and once I learned that, uh, my success with it has changed, or at least how I've gone about new installs with it. I like to think of grading it in a, in a like setting it on a type of slope that will allow the water to come off of it. This paddock here shows the same problem. I really didn't put the effort into this hump and so it it goes it humps up and then dips down right here and you can see even from three days ago of rain it's still holding water here now this is chica's bathroom area so she makes it even worse because she's constantly adding more um liquid to it but here's the rest of the paddock this area stays pretty dry partly because the water does leave it um but also because she um, urinates over here all the time. So another important thing to take note of, any areas that the grid is exposed, um, most horses will mess with. I'm lucky that Whiskey doesn't really pull on this. He does dig next to it a bit, but once they start pulling this up, it's really easy for them to just pull all the grid up from underneath and it's near impossible to get the gravel from underneath it back out, set the grid back flush, and to put it back um, flat where it should be. So a big piece of advice for me and why I have um, railroad ties along some of the edges. I never really installed the edges um, like staked down. Um, 
I don't really have a good reason for that. That's just how it happened. Um, so any of the areas that they could um, reach the end, many of the horses will try and pull up. So I put railroad ties down on the edges to eliminate that. And Whiskey is a horse that doesn't um, really mess with those. I do have a horse here that has ruined a lot of his grid because the edges weren't fixed down in a way that he could not pull up. I did try and fix the edges in his particular paddock knowing that he would probably do that. Um, but it did nothing that I did worked to keep it down. So probably my suggestion if you're if you want to install it that way or know, know that you have a horse that probably is going to mess with it. Anywhere that your edges are you probably need to install two by six or larger um, boards against your posts and then find a way to really affix the grid to that. Now the companies might give a better um, solution to uh, or a better way to fix them on the edges but um, I didn't see that with the one that I used off of Amazon. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about the, what I actually put in the grid, the uh, type of aggregate or whatever you want to call it, um, gravel. So originally um, in the other one, I just used three quarter minus. Um, that's what I put down that there was already a base underneath of it that was um, compacted from years of being used. Um, I haven't found with these ones that I needed to put anything underneath of it. Um, like a geotextile fabric or anything. Um, I know that a lot of people recommend doing that. And if you know that your ground doesn't have any sort of compaction or, or base to it, um, I would recommend probably doing that. These ones I did not. These ones I actually had some fabric left over and I did um, put that down for some of it. But I am um, distracted because there's a pretty deer over here. I'm going to show you. She's out on the track. It's apple picking season, and so we've been having a lot of friends out here under the apple trees. And she just looked really cute, so I'd share. Uh, so anyway, back to the grid. Um, uh, yeah, so I would recommend putting something underneath of it if you really want to try and install it correctly from the get-go. Um, but I have had some success with it. Um, the the reason for the for the uh, the fabric is that you don't want um, your material or your grid just getting smooshed down into um, mud essentially. So like my driveway I'm constantly putting more gravel on because it's constantly sinking down. Um, that has not been the case with the grid and for that reason I've been very happy with it. I haven't had to um, just keep adding more material. Now I have had to add more top to it and I can get into that as well but um, as far as the, well, the material that's inside the grid itself, the cre three quarter minus primarily, that doesn't sink down any lower beyond the grid. So for, for that, it's, it's essentially, I feel my grid is acting as a base. Um, and then I put top coat on top of that. So let me show you just the difference here um, in the brand new paddock between the three quarter minus on top, get my shadow out of the way, so much of this new one has three quarter minus on top, which I find three quarter minus is difficult to clean. You can see um, there's a lot of pieces of organic material that get left behind from the pitchfork. Um, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I do my other paddocks, the other two paddocks that have three quarter minus in it. Um, it does, and I don't know about anyone else, but for me, Gravel and horses and paddocks, you just can't get all this organic material out. And this gravel on top ends up turning into this weird gravel mud. And uh, I'm not sure if that's just a problem for my uh, property or if that happens for other people. But almost every fall, I have to pull the top uh, material off my paddocks, like scrape it off and then add new. And so that being said, um, I more than likely am going to add top, uh, a top coat of one qu uh, quarter, so just quarter minus uh, gravel on this. And that is what these two paddocks has had for the last um, year. And what I really like about the quarter minus is it's a lot finer. So it acts a lot more like sand on the horse's feet and for them laying down on it. Um, 
it also does not drain really so again i'm not really using the grid in my application for draining um i'm trying to just keep it like get it to shed off but what i like about the quarter minus like i said it's fine here's a little bit of three quarters stuck in there um and so it's a lot easier to clean like you can get a lot more of the material out of it um than just the three quarter minus the three quarter minus gravel is so much thicker so there are pieces of gravel that come out on the poop fork and leaves pieces behind all right and this is the original paddock this one has been in for three years now um this mat is at the end because i didn't have enough grid to do the full 36 feet so it ended here and then i've always just had this mat over it to protect the edge from horses. Now, I've definitely had horses in here that mess with the stall mat, that pull on the edges. This is kind of what I'm talking about for uh, an exposed edge. I kind of always thought that I was gonna continue this grid into the following paddock. So some of the edges um, in the paddock are exposed. And so often I'm raking more onto here to cover up um, the exposed edges but knock on wood i have not had horses in here yet that straight up pulled it up um, but this one has always been three quarter minus three quarter minus in the grid three quarter minus on top um, i'm actually waiting for a delivery of quarter minus now i'm going to scrape this what's left of the top off and then put quarter on all of them to go into the winter. Um, and that's kind of something I've just accepted it as a annual maintenance, which I kind of always do for all the paddocks anyway. Um, they always seem to need fresh every year, which is just kind of how it goes. You can't get all of the organics out. So one thing I did want to show that is a nuisance. And one of the reasons why you want to have a top on it is once you start losing top, you can see some of the grid. Now, this grid isn't pulled up. It's just, it has no top pieces yet. And you know, you're always trying to scrape away all this organics, like what I couldn't get all out here. Um, but what happens is when you're trying to scoop with your pitchfork, it gets snagged on it and the grid has these holes in it. And so often my forks go through those holes um, and if, even if it doesn't do that, it hits inside some of these little spots. So you definitely need to have um, at least an inch of material on top. And as we know, as we're cleaning paddocks and stalls, um, you're always inadvertently pulling some of your top out with it, be it gravel or sand, because things get stuck or... Um, you know, there's, there's always some that comes off. So this one is due for a top coat as well. Um, and it will be quarter minus. So I hope that this answered some questions for you. Um, all in all, I have been pleased with the grid for my property and my application. Um, that it could be a totally different experience for someone else on different property. Here, I have a lot of loamy base. I have absolutely zero clay zero natural rock here um this is a flat valley and the water just doesn't go anywhere so i have water holding problems um for some you might have greater success with this um, than me it is solving the problem for me of losing material constantly sinking um and i will also add even though the top gets kind of mucky um and i'm gonna have to pull this out and put more quarter minus uh gravel in uh it still is never going to be you know hoof deep fetlock deep uh mud it's it turns into a weird gravel mud uh i don't have a better way to explain that and it's annoying but it's never a, a deep mud so there is that benefit. The grid acts as a sub base for my top material and the horses never are you know, breaking through that and creating deep mud. So in that sense, it is a benefit to me. Um, a somewhat expensive way to do that, but anything is expensive. I mean, if you had put in 
I have a paddock where we ripped down uh, at least 18 inches and then did a sandwich layer of um, gravel, like big eight to 10 inch rocks and then slowly got smaller. And honestly, that one does well, but it's not even any necessarily draining better than what these are. So that's why I kind of feel like this comparatively is like a sub base. All right, well, thanks again for watching. I hope that this uh, answered some of your questions. Um, if there are more questions still, you can shoot me uh, a comment on here on YouTube. I don't really check it very much, but if you go on my Facebook, uh, County Line Farm, you can find me there. Um, and I'm a lot more active on that as far as answering questions. So if you have any other questions, go ahead and shoot them there. In the meantime, I'll see you in another video.